hi seekers welcome back welcome back to the channel honey it is always a blessing to have you back here okay um today's reading is for aries aries my darling it is your day to shine shine bright like a diamond if it is your first time here welcome and if you are returning back to the channel i do welcome you back for those of you that are new a prayer is a must we do pray here so i'm going to get into a prayer okay um, tap into your energy and bring some messages through. So let's get to, into a pray. Have any fun as I go along your day? I said, go along my day. I ask that you bless and I ask that you bless my seekers. Heavenly Father, peace and your most powerful angels to take charge over this reading. Using my body as a vessel. Giving me the right words and also giving me the right messages that you want me to share. The ones that needs to know. Heavenly Father, I do give you all the honor and all the praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, y'all. All right. Let's get into your read. Just know that this is a general reading and not a personal one. It may or may not resonate with you. Um, take what does and leave the rest for another Aries. Um, also, Aries, it could pick up your person, whether you're with your person or not, or whatever whatever situation that is around you. Um, Angel will choose the messages that come through, okay? So it's an overall read. Um, cross watchers, this one could resonate with you as well. Um, do the same. Take what yours and leave the rest. Um, if you do need to have a personal reading, y'all, you can always connect with me using the information that you will find in the description part of this video to have a personal reading done. All right. All right, angels, what is the message here, please? What is the message here? What is the message for Aries at this time, angels? What is the message for Aries at this time? I didn't get to, I didn't pull an angel for you guys here, but I will in my, my other read. I just got done doing a, a personal one. So I just wanted to give this one really quick and then I'll just go ahead and set up and give you an angel and all that other stuff in my other read. Okay. So I do apologize for that. What is the message for Aries at this time, angels? What is the message for Aries at this time, angels? What is the message? For Aries at this time. What is the message for Aries at this time? Okay. So what I do see here is um, the four of pentacles. And I do have the moon here. I'm getting there's a situation where someone is really wanting to manifest here. With this person, okay? Someone wants to really build some kind of a stability here um, because of the energy that um, you're feeling. Someone is really feeling someone here. Someone is really loving wanting someone here. Someone wants to generate um, what it is that is coming towards them. Someone wants to share their blessings with this person, okay? But what I do see here is someone who is not really ready to share the same that you want to share with them. I see these people being a, a, a person who really holds on to what they have and not really um, on the same level of giving. That makes sense. Um, I also see this Four of Pentacles as one that's really selfish at times. Um, they want to be the one that says yes, nor maybe so here. Uh, but I do see this person being a person that is more standoffish, is very more of a person that wants to be alone alone is how they feel because this person is a person who will have you doing it all okay and not really doing anything it's not like they are not able to to do but they're choosing it's a choice that they are making here um but someone was is really wanting to make things work here someone wants to make things work someone's putting the energy to make things work okay but the eight of pentacles is also here as well as the um, ten of swords the ten of swords okay um the ten of swords here i do feel as if okay um there's a lot of back and forth here where someone maybe feels really hurt um someone really feels um Betrayed. I feel for some of you, this person might have done something to really hurt you, really make you feeling really bad. Um, this person may have all that even had you feeling a sense of um, regret for some of you. Um, but what I do see is 
the effort, the effort that is still being put in to have things work here. Someone really doesn't want to give up. I feel like someone is really, this take it as it resonates with you, y'all, because it could go in the reverse, but I really see a, a, an emotion here where, yes, I see the red flags. Yes, I know the relationship may not be going where I need it to go, but I really still want to try. I'm hearing someone is saying, but I love my person, but I love my person. It's okay. I see that love coming through. I just don't see that sense of manifestation that is coming through at this time. Clarify this for me, please. Clarify this for me, please. The Two of Swords. The Two of Swords. Um, and the Nine of Swords. Okay, so there's a whole lot of anxiety that's happening here. Um, it's sleepless nights. I do feel like you are about to kind of walk away here. I'm starting to heal. So our, our, some of you might have already started your healing process. Um, this two of swords here and this uh, nine of swords in the reverse. Look at that. Okay. This manifestation of leaving and healing one's heart is already in effect here. Um, I do feel like there's no communication coming through. Uh, someone is choosing not to communicate at this point. Uh, maybe purposely. Because I do feel a selfish energy that's coming through. I do feel like for, for some of you though, it's time that you kind of see what's really happening here. Um, because what you really want is not what you're really receiving. That's what I'm hearing. Um, even though the effort is being put in, the result is not being put out because someone is choosing to be very selfish. Selfish. I do feel with the selfishness, it comes with a form, a chain of reaction that is causing this person to have an ego here. Um, this person ego is coming in as one that is, they're going to be falling short from because um, of them being so selfless. Okay. Um, is what I'm getting here. Someone really wants to manifest here. Someone is not ready to give up or to let go is what I'm getting here. Someone is on that point of wanting to. Maybe try to change the situation, hoping that your person will change. If maybe you could do something to change this, change this feeling. Um, what I'm seeing here. All right, angels, clarify, please. Clarify this, please. What's the present? What's the present? What is the message? Let's see what's coming through, y'all. Okay, so we have the page of the page of swords here. We also have the um, I'm not seeing very well with this lighting. We have the page of swords. We have the um, eight of cups, and we do have the chariot. Let me adjust my lighting, y'all. It's, it's it's not showing the cards on my end. Hold on, there's something going on here. That ain't supposed to be that way. All right. I'm hoping that's a little bit better because, yeah, I can see the cards are way a lot better now. All right. So we have the, look at that. So now we have the Page of Swords. We have the Eight of Cups. And we do have the Chariot here. Um, what I do feel, okay, if, as an overall, I do see this person as being one that is childlike, okay? Um, they're very young at heart here. Um, this person is all into themselves. It's all about them. Okay. They're put, it's okay to put yourself first, but you still have to have respect for others. And I do feel like at times they've come in as, um, no respect shown. Um, and it's not like sometimes it's deliberate. It's just that that's the, their personality. But I feel like there's a decision that is going to be made here, um, on your part where you're going to have to either walk away from this emotion or this feeling here of what this person is bringing or you're just going to have to remain with it now because the chariot is here i see an effort for you either you're walking away but walking away very slowly or this person is either coming towards you but not coming towards you fast enough or you're either just kind of waiting things out but angel is saying if this is the person that you're waiting for change. You shouldn't wait because you have might have waited enough. Um, but what I do also feel, this person is definitely coming through. If you guys are in separation, this person is definitely coming back. But coming back very slowly here. Simply because they're just not ready to give exactly what 
it is that your heart and soul is yearning for. It does let me have um, past situation, please. What is the message for past situation here? What is the message at this time for past situation here? Let's see, y'all, because, honey, honey, past situation. Let's have three cards for that. Clarify that, please. All right, so in the past, um, once again, we have the Four of Pentacles. Look at that. That Four of Pentacles came through here with the very first deck that I chose for you guys, okay? It's coming back, okay? So it's not like I could run away from the situation. The situation is fine. It's way back to me, okay? The Four, uh, the four of Pentacles is here, um, the Knight of Cups and um, the King of Wands. Now, in the past, all right? This person already was very stingy with what they have. They very hold on to what they have. They hold on to their nickels and pennies and whatever, okay? But I do feel like in the past, they might have tried to come towards you. They might have tried to drop their sword and come towards you with some kind of an offering here, okay? At one point. But I do feel um, a sense of... Um, them being too dominant, wanting to take control is still not really giving you exactly what it is that you might have wanted at that point, okay? Even though an attempt to make a change did occur at one point in the past. Now, in the present, okay, this is giving me the Seven of Wands. It's also giving me this the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse and the, and the Wheel of Fortune here. In the present, in the present, um, manifesting with this person didn't work, okay? Even though there was, even though this person had kind of let their guards down and really make things work the way that you wanted it to work, it would have worked out. But because of them being so selfish and being so very strong-willed, they wouldn't allow the manifestation process to take effect because they're hard to deal with. They're hard to deal with here because they seem to want to fight this battle alone at times. Um, and this is where things just kind of chop, where there's nothing coming through. I feel like no help in sight, okay? Even though the help was needed to manifest this wheel of fortune here that's bringing luck and generosity and everything towards you, it's still tapping into man, in, in, into someone that's very manipulative here, okay? Now, in the present, we have, um, the eight, I'm sorry, we have the seven of cups here, the queen of wands. And the page of cups, all right. So, what I do see here is um, this person coming back, they're coming back for another chance to offer something to you. Okay, they're coming back here because now they see where you're ascending and you're trying to make this move without any help in sight because they're not they're not helping like they should, okay. Um, but now you're taking back the control. You're taking back your power. Here's what I see you doing in the next, okay? You're taking back your power. You're taking back what is necessary that you might should have done from the beginning to now, to the next. You're doing that now in the next um, because this is a, a sign of, okay, I see where, you know, this person is about to be all gone. So now I am going to tap into strength here and do what I have to do, even though it may not be. Um, one that, uh, this person will hold up to a very long time, but I see where they're making the attempt to change here, coming in with some kind of an offering here. Okay. To assist. Now in your present here, we do have the hangman. It did show up in the reverse. To clarify that we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse. Also the queen of cups. Now you're about manifestation. You're doing that. You're doing that. You're getting your goals. You're getting your, your, your thing done. Okay. Um, because you're just um, at a ray right now where you're tired of having a situation to stand still, okay? You're feeling like at this point things are just not going accordingly and, you know, you're you're even tired yourself just kind of waiting for things to change around here um, and where the process is going slow. Maybe some of you, um, you know, you might have tried and tried and tried again if a knot is in a string, you said patience couldn't tie it. Patience could have done anything, but now you're running out of patience is what I see you doing here. You're basically running out of patience because you're tired of 
um, playing the mind game here. I'm getting an illusion here, okay? Someone is either living in their own illusion here, and this is where this hangman in the reverse is coming through, the illusion, right? This illusion has to stop because it's not manifesting anything. It's not manifesting happiness. It sure manifest manifesting paying those bills because someone is need to get them all caught up. But there's a fear here, but it doesn't say you shouldn't fear because this Ace of Cups is here. This is resonating to new love, new happiness, new peace, new joy, new manifestation, new spiritual calling on your life, okay? So that is changing for you. Because that is changing, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have your strength here, okay? Now, this is always also telling me that you will generate a massive amount of strength here. This is going to bring wisdom. This is going to bring hope. It's going to bring peace, divine, everything that you've always want and dream of. It is coming. This is your manifestation to where you want to be the next time around. You want to be able to have someone love you the way that you deserve to be loved. You want to have someone manifesting in your dreams. Uh, but some of you have a talent. Uh, this person is not willing to manifest with you into bringing the talent out to a level okay and it's really sad in you you've been really sad in here you more feel that this person has really betrayed you in some shape or form instead of really bringing happiness and stability here you feel like things are just going wrong in the reverse here but what i do see is new love that's coming in okay if this person is not careful new love will be coming in towards you this king of cups is ready to offer but this person um, will want to see, they, it's not only they want to see, but they will see your potential, okay? And they will take away the fear from you. They'll take away how you might have felt hurt here, okay? Um, because this person has been there themselves and they know what it feels like to be um, with someone that doesn't share their dream. They know what it is like to be with someone that doesn't, um pray with them they know what it is like to be with someone that doesn't care about stability yet balance right they've been there done it so because they will see your potential they will be ready to invest not like they will have the money like that but whatever that they have they are willing to share whatever they have with you okay on a spiritual level is what i'm getting okay now this is going to be a read um for right now my darlings i'm going to go ahead and um close this one out but just know that if you do need to have oh i'm burping y'all i'm sorry if you do need to have a um prayer request you just go ahead and put your initials in the comment section of this video also my darlings um if um you need one for your person or whoever that you're connected with you can leave one for them as well um and again um while you're praying my darlings I'll pray for me as I'll be praying for you. Thumbs up the videos, my darlings, on your way out so that this video could be pushed out to a wider audience. And with that said, always remember to seek first and you will always find. I will see you in my next one, okay? Later.